and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be trying some of the new in snacks from Tesco. Sorry if there's been a few too many of these types of videos recently but I really can't commit to full day videos. My energy is this small. I will hopefully be giving birth very soon. But yeah, I'm at the stage now where I am huge. My hands, my face, my arms, even. I can't even fit my watch on. My feet are so swollen. I would show you a photo, but um, no, I would not. It's nothing to worry about. It is just standard pregnancy swelling but yeah this will be one of my final videos before I give birth I'm just at that stage where I can't really look at myself and filming is the last thing I want to be doing especially when I feel like my energy levels are like that I'm like oh who wants to listen to you I don't and I certainly don't want to look at you if you've been pregnant then you'll understand but on that note I'm back with another taste test I have been to Tesco. I've got a few things to try and I've actually got more than one savoury thing to try in today's video, which brings me so much joy. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this one. If you do, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're new here. Let's just get on with the taste test. So we have a Jaffa cake. Now, I don't usually like to try the new flavours because most of the time I don't think they're any good compared to the original, but I do love raspberry flavoured stuff. Can I say that weird? raspberry so when i saw that they brought out a raspberry jaffa cake i thought i could give it a chance i'm just gonna bite into it rather than eat it the way i'd like to which is to take it apart i actually really like that it is more of an artificial raspberry but i really like that flavor i was gonna say which surprises me but i guess it doesn't surprise me because i do love raspberry i personally really like them i would definitely buy them again okay next thing we have dairy milk i've actually brought out two different ones the other one is like hazelnut wafer i think it is i've actually already tried that because my boyfriend got it sorry what is happening with this lighting i'm literally in perfect lighting and it keeps going dark but that one was really good. But this one is milk chocolate with creamy toffee filling, caramel and chopped hazelnuts. I don't know why. I thought that that said s'more. So I was thinking like the marshmallow flavour. I really don't read stuff before I buy it. It's terrible. Oh my God, it's just literally broke in the most random, annoying way. Actually, at least you can kind of see the caramel there. Mmm, that is really good too. I don't actually know which one I prefer. I feel like it's got to be the wafer one, actually, because it has the crunchy bit in it, which I feel like this is lacking. But I really like the flavour. And I think my son really likes this flavour because he's kicking. I'm a fan of that. I like the nutty flavour. It's not as nutty as like a Snickers. Or actually, that's a peanut. That's a hazelnut. But overall, I think that's really good. Would I buy it again? No, because I do prefer the hazelnut one out of the two. But I do really like that. If you haven't tried that new range, I would recommend both. Let's try something savoury. So Sensations have brought out new flavours. I never buy Sensations crisps. I know everyone loves the chilli. No, what is it called? Thai sweet chili is that it i don't know it's never a go-to for me this is mature cheddar and chili chutney it kind of tastes like a mcdonald's cheeseburger without the beef because you've got the cheese and then it kind of tastes like a gherkin i'm surprised at how much i like that i don't know why it's really reminding me of a cheeseburger if you try these after me let me know if you can kind of understand what i'm saying there Sometimes with crisps like this, the cheese can be too much, but I think that's a perfect combo. Is it just because I'm heavily pregnant? I feel like I'm loving everything. Am I being too nice? Because now I'm thinking, am I just hungry? I'll definitely get them again. And I know my boyfriend is going to devour these when he gets home. Next thing I have, I've already opened the packet and prepared this because I can't deal with it getting up and down. So these are new. Trillionaire pancakes, rich milk and dark chocolate chips with smooth salted caramel pieces. I have already prepared this. I put a little bit of butter on the top so it's not dry, hopefully. Can't see the caramel so much. First impression is it's got nothing on the M&S lemon one. I'm trying to rip it apart to see if I can see any caramel, but I really can't. It's very bland. 
it's not giving trillionaire it's giving your basic chocolate pancake it's nice and fluffy and maybe if i ate the whole thing there'd be more caramel but nothing sticking out to me would i personally buy these no they are just your average cheap maybe thicker than average pancake so no i personally wouldn't buy these again okay let's wash that down with a drink so this is coca-cola lemon has lemon been out in the past i don't know but yeah this had a lot of new signage and i thought has it hasn't it i'm not sure it says new so let's give it a go i feel like it was one of those things that was out in our childhood anyway cheers Why does that always happen to me? I always get hiccups. Lemon. Do you know what I actually didn't think of? I despise when you go somewhere and you get a Coke and they put lemon in it and it's already tainted the whole glass. Why do they do that? They should say, do you want lemon and ice? And that didn't even cross my mind when I bought this. It's actually quite nice though. I think I like it because the lemon is very, very subtle. But if you did like lemon Coke, you could just put a fresh slice of lemon in it. But yeah, I do personally find that overpowering. This, I could drink and enjoy. It's giving me a summer vibe. Would I buy it? No. I think I'd just prefer it without it. It's nothing special. It's like they've put lemon on the bottle, but have they actually put lemon in the drink? Let's do something spicy. So they've got this new extra flaming hot range. And I think they all taste the same, but they're just different crisps. So they've got like the Walker's Max doritos and the what's it crunches i love what's it crunches do i or am i thinking of the big fat what's it's i'm thinking of the big fat what's it's they look radioactive <laughs> and they smell strong anyway i need some spicy stuff you know to get the baby moving they are spicy and they got a lot of flavor they're a bit smoky really really hot oh my god too hot for me uh, uh, that's a horrible combo uh, they're way too hot for me if you like spicy stuff you will love them because they don't have that same old spicy flavor and they're very hot i personally wouldn't buy them again and now i need to take a breather so I'll be back in a second this will cool it down we have tropical i never know how to say this properly mochi mochi I'm not sure i feel like i said it before and i said it wrong and then i can't remember which one's the right way i did want to try the new true like the chocolate covered strawberries but they didn't have them and these were next to it so i went for these do you know why because it reminded me of the hype of little moons you know how they sold out how long are these supposed to be out for because these have been out for over five minutes for sure wait a few minutes i mean it's much bigger than a little moon That's not melted enough, but that's been out for like, I'd probably say about eight minutes now. And look at the ratio of the outside to the middle compared to a little moon that's got nothing on it. It's so thin and the ice cream's really cheap. It's a really shit product. I personally wouldn't buy that again and I wouldn't even try any of the other flavours. Let's try and have a crisp. I bought both of the flavours because I like to get the savoury in. So these are crushed sea salt and black peppercorn. I feel like the flavours are not exciting. They look very pale. Ugh. I'm gonna give myself a minute because that after the tropical ice cream is a horrible combination. So let me retry that again in a second. Let's try again. <laughs> it's not the mix, it's them. Oh, I think that's what it is, a subtle hint of lemon. Are we in 2024? We are, aren't we? Please tell me why these go out of date next week. These go out of date in two months. Why did I think that crisps last forever? Next week and they're new. That's next month. I don't know, but they taste absolutely disgusting. Do not like them. Do not recommend. Right, let's move on to a sweet. These sweets, I feel like they're getting boring now. Oh, these have good flavours. Well, I don't know if they're good, but different types of flavours. These are tropical fish and they have mango, peach, kiwi and mandarin. But yeah, I feel like they just bring out so many different sweets and they're all just basically the same, like safari, hearts, snakes, mango. I mean, they've got good flavour. Very chewy. Did I say that was peach? Kiwi? Oh, it was a bit crap. And mandarin. 
That one was surprisingly my fave. That's a very summery sweet. Would I personally buy these? Probably not. I feel like I've ruined it in the first half of the video saying I liked everything because now I don't like anything. <laughs> well, it's not that I don't like it, but it is a basic product, although I did pick it, but there wasn't much choice. I feel like this is a sweet a kid would love because it is very fruity. But for me personally, I wouldn't buy these again. Okay, guys, I forgot to say, I'm now on the last product. I feel like I had less products today. And yeah, I forgot to say how many I had left. So surprise, we are on the last one. And this is another Tesco frozen product. And these are cookie ice cream sandwiches. Chocolate chip cookie sandwich. God, that was a mouthful. Vanilla flavor ice cream dipped in milk chocolate so this is giving maxi bond vibes and it's so funny because becky loves maxi bonds i don't think i've ever had one <laughs> like when we go away she's always like maxi bond but i don't think i ever tried one and i don't have them in the uk oh how embarrassing that is tiny so it's nothing like a maxi bond that is a mini bond anyway so aldi have brought out their version and now all of a sudden Tesco have. And this is what I don't understand because it can't just be coincidence that Aldi at the same time have brought out the same type of product as Tesco. Like how does that happen? Is there, what's the word? What are those people that like tell secrets? Is there someone working for one company telling the other company what they're bringing out? Why do all the different supermarkets bring out similar products at the same time of year? Anyway, here's what it looks like. I want to eat the cookie bit first of all, but then I feel like that you can't hold it. Oh no. I mean, that side's more like a choc ice, but it tastes much nicer than a choc ice. Let's try the cookie side, which looks like it's only got chocolate chips on one side. <laughs> the cookie is not the best quality. I don't know, I really like the concept. The cookie is a bit of a letdown, but will I thoroughly enjoy this? Yes. Would I buy them again? I don't know. If the cookie was a bit better, probably. If they was on offer, probably is it a new favorite probably not i'll be interested to try the aldi ones now and see which one's better but yeah that is it for another taste test and yeah i'm gonna wrap the video up here as i said i do have like a vlog that i'm filming of the third trimester so that one is still to come but yeah if my baby comes early this could potentially be one of my last videos for a minute but i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're new here as always thank you guys so much for watching i will see you in my next one